Hello and welcome to the Stam Muffin YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn some 3D basics in Blender. Let's get started. Okay, let's get open Blender program. Before we start, actually, let's get rid of some objects in this 3D. Select lights and with a shift on your keyboard and select the camera. And we select two of them and just press the delete button on your keyboard. And we see again our objects here. Let's get open the Z axis and some features in this blender. We're going to in here to with port overlays. In this axis, I'm gonna activate Z axis, left mouse button, and also I'm gonna activate the statistics. And we're gonna see on the left tab side. We are seeing these statistics in Blender. This is a polygon counts. What is the polygons and how we can use this information in this program? Let's get find. We're gonna something learn polygon in terminologies and also what is the polygon means the first one the polygons are straight sided shapes three or more sides defined by three dimensional points we say vertices and the straight lines that connect them with edges the interior region of the polygon it's called the face vertices edges and faces are the basic components of polygons you select and modify polygons using these basic components. When you model with polygons, you usually use three-sided polygons called triangles or four-sided polygons called quadrilaterals. We say quads. And also, this blender supports the creation of polygons with more than four sides. We say more than four sides of polygons and gons, but they are not as commonly used for modeling. The first thing we're gonna do, select the object and go to object mode. Change your interaction mode to edit mode. We can actually interact our objects like this. If I zoom in my objects and I'm gonna see something different in here, something this, these little edges on this side, we're gonna say every time this is a vertices, our objects, and we have a edges and faces. Edit interaction mode. We are manipulating our different section of polygons. We are changing our all selection mode to vertices. Just select that first one. And this is vertex selection mode. The vertex selection mode, you can actually select and you can actually manipulate with your all vertices. And also you can do it something in we are in vertex mode. If I make anything something like right mouse button and I can see the vertex context menu and I can do whatever I want in here. The next one is edge. The edges, if you want to make some manipulate your object's edge, you can actually select in here to selection mode change to like this straight line and we're gonna in here to edge mode, edge selection mode. If I want to make any type of edge context and I select one of them or many of them and making some things in here to edit mode. Actually, if I select one, with the left mouse button and then click the right mouse button, I'm gonna see the edge context menu appears like here. And I do whatever I want actually on my selected, all selected edges. And also we're gonna see the last one, selection mode, a face. This selection mode actually give us to select our object's faces. And I can do whatever I want actually in here to, if I click the right mouse button, I can see the face context menu over here. And I can do whatever I want in this context menu. Okay, we have uh, actually different kind of modifications and edits and settings over here. And also you can see in edit mode with the right side of the mesh and vertex edge or face actually in here. If you want to some changes with the vertices and you can just go to vertex side and if you want to um, change your edges and you can actually do whatever you want actually in this section. And also the last one is a face. We can actually do whatever we want in here and this are actually manipulate our objects polygons and also we are seeing all of our objects information with the left side because we are open with the viewport overlays to statistics okay and also actually go to viewport overlays you can actually see more things in the viewport overlays in edit mode and if i make any type of modification our vertex 
and I'm going to vertex selection mode in here. I select my actually objects vertex in here. If you want to make some kind of selection mode, you can actually change in here to tools in here, the left side, select box. If I hold my left mouse button, I can see different type of selection over here. If I select the tweak and I cannot do anything, I just select and activate the objects. For example, if I holding my left mouse button, I can actually move my objects vertex. If I don't want this, I'm just click right mouse same time and this is actually cancel our all of actions. Okay, if you something you don't want any type of action, you can actually cancel with the right mouse button. If I make a right mouse button and it's cancel. If you want to this kind of things and you can actually see in the status bar. If you in this side actually we see on the status bar confirm and cancel with a right mouse button and also I can change my axis to my keyboard you want to actually move your vertices something X axis if I press the X my keyboard and I'm gonna actually X axis with the right axis in here if I press the Y as you can see in here in your keyboard to Y and you can actually manipulate with the Y axis and also the last one the blue one is a Z axis and if you press C button and you can actually manipulate with the Z axis on your actually 3D viewport and we're gonna see different type of things actually in here the control on your keyboard actually snap inverting and snap toggle actually look forward up arrow and also tab can snap the toggle and we see the different type of actually actions here we see the G with a move and R in a rotate and S with the resize or scaling some your actually polygons and also we see the middle mouse button with an automatic constraint automatic constraint with an axis let's get look if I make something this and I'm just doing left mouse button and click the right mouse button it's cancelled if I select them and holding down my left mouse button I'm just holding like this and I'm just click the middle mouse button if I click middle mouse button you can see the axis okay main place is here actually if I make left side or right side I can see the Y axis if I make it look down to this cross and I can make something X axis on my actually objects and also if I middle mouse button and up and down to move my vertices and uh, you can see snap the Z axis if you can more and you can do with middle mouse button and the next one if I select and hold we see the move okay and with the right mouse button I'm just cancelled you can actually do with press your keyboard to G if I press on my keyboard to G and I can actually move my vertices edges or faces and you know the middle mouse button as we see on the status bar if I click the middle mouse button I can automatically snapping axis with the left side or with an up and down this Z axis and if I don't want anything I just cancel all my action and also we say the S pressing S to resize but we cannot doing anything because the dots are not have any type of actually things dimension so we cannot do anything our actually vertices something changes in with placing keys s to scale we can rotate them but we cannot see because this is not have actually dimensions length or something else but in here to selection mode in here to edge I can select actually pressing S key on my keyboard and I can actually scale my objects edge as you can see if you want to some detail and and also you can press the press the shift on your keyboard and this might be help you and also the next one is the rotate and if I don't want any type of actions I'm just clicking right mouse button and also we can rotate with this and as you can see I can rotate with R on my keyboard and I can rotate my edges like 
here and also you can actually do in here to with using the keyboard actually xyz and if i change my axis i just press x on my keyboard i just rotate my polygons edges just x axis or i can select with the y and press your keyboard on the y you can actually do whatever you want in y axis and if you want if you press z key and i just change my rotation z axis and you can do whatever you want actually again if you click the s button you can scale and x axis you x axis scale y axis scale and if you want to z axis scale but we just look our objects to y axis scale and this is our actually whole things the mouse and keyboard interaction with this tutorial the next one is a faces and faces expressions if i click the third one in selection mode we can actually Actually, uh, we can actually select face selection mode in here and I can select all of my objects actually faces and I can do whatever I want them actually resize them with this S key on your keyboard or right click the cancel and G to actually move your face and type automatic constraint actually axis just middle mouse button with this left and right goes to Y axis or up and down now goes to actually x axis and also uh, up and down movement z axis and if i don't any modifying things i just click the right mouse button or escape your keyboard it's a same thing in this tutorial we're gonna see actually vertex mode and edge mode and also face mode but we have the last one of the triangles actually this means your object has 12 triangles the computer just calculate your all faces like triangles actually in this face the computer just seeing this face i'm gonna see two different faces in here if you want to see go to in this vertex mode i'm gonna just select two vertices to change face mode and i can select any type of face and go to face and just triangulate faces if you do and you can see actually faces have two triangles the computer understand this but we don't see actually in properly and also we're gonna adjust off layers to we're gonna actually change our things shortest diagonal or longest diagonal and also fixed if i make this and i can change the triangle shape of actually their edges and also we are joining together like the two triangle if i select one of them and with a shift on your keyboard select two of them and you can actually join this two triangles just like this select and go to face and trace the quads which means we are changing triangles to and quads in this side we're gonna see our faces just one piece and also we're gonna see all of our actually objects faces has triangles okay so if you see just select press an a to select all of your objects face or select all and go to face and triangulate faces if you do it and you can see actually your faces include their 12 triangles and if you want to you can change actually edge actions actually if you do it two more select all of them and i cannot do it right now and i can actually join all of my edges actually it means alt and j key on your keyboard this actually joins triangles to actually convert uh, triangles to quads and i can see my actually objects all objects in a one piece like that okay in this tutorial actually we're gonna all of seeing this type of modifications or selection uh, selection mode and also we're gonna see different type of context we're gonna see the vertex it vertex mode and edges i'm gonna select for doing more face expressions and actions but this is actually basic of the objects and basic of the blender modeling and we see a lot of actually polygon count we saw that in the left side and we're gonna be careful using of this of objects actually these objects polygons we're gonna careful using for them because if we don't care of them we get 
infinitely troubled. So let's get fine to trouble. If I go to object mode and we have actually vertices, edges, faces, and also you can see the edges and and like these edges, you can see viewport overlays in the geometry and I'm gonna turn on the wireframe these things. If I turn on this geometry and I'm gonna see the all of my objects edges. So if I click left click the 3D view and I can see all of my objects edges you can see and select your actually objects and go to wrench icon to modify properties and I'm gonna add subdivision surface of my cube and then it goes like this and we see on the left side vertices edges and faces goes actually up and we're gonna see actually more and more and more edges faces and triangles in our objects if I change my all of my actions in this in here level of viewport and I can see more of edges faces and triangles if I do more more and more I can actually see my objects has so many polygon counts and this is actually a uh, this is not we want. We are trying to love poly any type of anything, but some detailing objects need some more than actually polygons. And this cause a problems. If you have more than 1 million vertices, edges or faces, your computer actually consumption, it goes high and your computer actually consumes so many electricity. So if you are in laptop or something your battery will die so fast why because you are using your computer and you are hard your computer to cause problems if i see like that and i just open my task manager and i'm going to performance and always stop as you can see my memory is here and we have 5.5 gigabyte on memory usage okay the memory usage just like this but if i actually do more levels in subdivision or something i don't i don't know and i can actually getting some problems if i make something 10 and now it's gonna actually update now 6 million and 12 12 million 12.5 million nearly edges and faces and triangles so this is actually use my memory for like here if I make 11 and this is my capacity and as you can see our memory usage more 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 than we think we don't want to use like that situation in here because if I do as you can see my computer actually don't handle with like this vertices edges and faces so you can actually careful of usage of like these tools so I'm just going to remove my modifier in my object for now and I can see in objects for now and my memory usage just goes down and as you can see if you have more polygon counts more vertices edges faces and triangles you're gonna getting some problem and that cause a lot of problems actually this is what I say in this video be careful of using this tools on your computer this tutorial i'm just warning to you using all of your actually polygon counts and your objects all of your actually blender objects and as you can see for now it's good it's no problem for me in this tutorial vertex or vertices and also edges faces and triangles what they are mean and we are modifying and also we are actually manipulating with in here object to edit mode but uh, before we do in edit mode we can just select our object and change our interaction mode object to edit mode and we can actually edit and manipulating our objects okay if you want to like this video please like subscribe and comment down below if you want to ask some questions don't hesitate in the comments you can actually agree to ask any type of question there is no problem and thank you for watching me see you next time